Six-year-old girl needed to be rescued today after being trapped underneath a car. Yeah, this story is just little Shyla Wilson was able to get a hold of her grandmother's car keys, start the car, put it in reverse, and then back the car out of the driveway. Somehow she then ended up underneath the car. And as Lauren Podell reports amazingly, little Shyla is going to be okay. Some very scary moments for a family here in Warren. This maroon Stratus wasn't always parked here at the curb. Earlier this morning, it was here in the middle of this neighborhood street. The car was running and a six-year-old girl trapped underneath. I see the little girl every single day. You know, so I just hey, I knew I had to help this little girl. Incredibly, six year old Shyla Wilson is going to be just fine after getting stuck under a moving tire on her grandmother's car. But if it hadn't been for Rich Crane, I heard a bunch of screaming. This first grader may not have walked away with just some scrapes and bruises. If it would have got more grip, it would have probably ran the little girl's head right over because her head was under the wheel. It was terrible. Warren police tell Local 4 Shyla's grandmother was getting ready to take her to school around 8 this morning. That's when police say the six year old grabbed Grandma's keys, got behind the wheel, and started the Stratus parked in the driveway. Shyla's uncle said what happened next was a freak accident. She ended up putting the car in reverse and it rolled out the driveway. And the door was still open, and she tried to, she panicked and tried to get out the car, but she hit the door and fell under the car. Crane, who also lives on Georgiana Street near 8 Mile, ran to the screams. I tried to pick the car up, which I know I can't because I've had back surgeries and stuff like that. I started yelling for people to come and help. Plan B was to grab the car jack from his garage. When the jack was actually lifted, the tire started spinning. That's when I had to have somebody jump in the vehicle, throw it in park. And then we were able to pull her out without her getting tangled up. Shyla was taken to the hospital, her grandmother shaken. She was very upset. You know, she was on the phone. She, I, she could barely speak. And everyone, including the neighbors, are relieved Shyla will make a full recovery. Reporting from Warren, Lauren Podell, Local 4. So glad that little girl's going to be okay. Warren police are calling this a terrible accident. There was no criminal wrongdoing, and investigators tell Local 4 they do not plan on bringing Child Protective Services onto this case.